Oh my god. That's Jeremy there. There's so many boxes back there. I'd love to throw away. Any one of the little guys to come under here with me. Oh my god. That's Jeremy there. There's so many boxes back there. I'd love to throw away. Any one of the little guys to come under here with me. That was so funny on the video though, we said, this is the cat's room. Oh yeah. Oh, I want to do, uh, I do want to charge my camera because I'm with you. I want the before and after pictures.
This is Jeremy getting underneath the crawl space that the movers said they would do and then they didn't do because there's all those boxes back there wait get out of the way for a second There's a box from under here. Does it look like there's rat crap or piss on it or anything? No. Nope. Does it look like it's in pretty good condition? Is it sealed? Is it, you know, nothing's falling out of it? Yep. But these guys couldn't take it out of there. That seems they didn't like look. a fair for $16,000. They, they didn't even look under here. They didn't even look under here. That's right. They did not go underneath there, by the way. Get another one. Keep that rolling. Can you believe Michael is complaining and you're doing this for him? Okay, paper, there's no stains on it, and more paper. And is there rat piss and crap all over this? No. Nope. There's not, is there? And these guys want to get paid the full amount of sixteen thousand dollars, six hundred bucks, whatever it is. Look, but it's obviously a little dusty, but I mean, there's some rat droppings down here. But this, all of this material is in good condition. And they don't have to say they do it. Right. Don't say you're going to do it and then right. renege on the deal and charge don't full. Don't tell them you're going to move it, sign the bill, and then get here and charge and your credit tell card. Us two hours before you're done, that you're not taking it. Yeah. That's not how you do business. And what is Michael complaining about? I don't. He wouldn't be down there. The movers wouldn't even do it. Why don't you put a big stack? Yeah, right there. Okay.
Boxes right so we can see what kind of condition they're in. Yep. So, you can see right here, all these boxes, a little dusty. I don't see any urine. I actually saw barely any rat feces on, the, on these at all, if any. Um, there's definitely is a few droppings in there, but this is not contaminated stuff. This is stuff that should have been taken out of the crawl space, moved into the truck by the movers, as agreed to on the camera. And you can see right here, you wanna get a close up of it real quick? And then we can kill this and just grab the rest of this stuff. By the way, this took eight minutes to get out. Yeah, that's so. it. And not only did they not take it out, they gave us the worst treatment we've ever been treated in our lives for paying for a service close to $17,000 to do this. It, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. When I asked for a little bit of assistance, the guy turned his back on me, got all his guys, and walked out of the house when I asked for help. That is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. and Jeremy, how much money did you make last year? <laughs> uh, I don't want to put that on the camera. More than what you should be doing here? Yeah, more than more than moving stuff out of here. And how much is this costing me? Because I'm not able to do my work. I'm doing their job that I paid them for. Instead, I'm here for a couple hours doing this when they should have taken care of it yesterday. Jeremy, do you have a CPA? I do. You have a Certificate of Public Accounting. Yes, and, and a uh, California licensed real estate brokers. So you're pretty good with math. A little bit. You don't need to be doing moving boxes. Well, you, you know, when I pay someone $6,000 to pack, just to pack, not to shuttle or haul anything, I expect them to pack. And I expect them to do what they say they're going to do. So they made six... And not point to the fine print on a contract and say that, oh, oh, this was an exception here. I'm sorry. It wasn't well lit enough. I didn't bring my flashlight to crawl in there. You know, when I hold a big light under there, you can see the boxes. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. This light's on in there. You can see everything very clearly. So just, just kill this. Let's finish this and get out. Is this going over and above? What it's called for? Way over and above what it's called for. And all these slides uh, are here.
How many are left? Not that many. Okay, good. <laughs> A lot of these are empty. Okay. The rat's got some of them. I see that one right there. Box of matchbooks. Matchbooks? Matchbooks. Wow. Okay, we're gonna. This box is. Falling apart with magazines from 19. Let's look at this here. Here's a newspaper from 1989. Okay, and we are going to try to put it all back in there for Michael Jacobs and Ruby Jacobs so they don't have sad times. I think so. I think we got everything. This is an empty box. Okay. I got all the boxes back there. There's nothing left. Did you get the box full of newspapers from 1991? Yeah, I got that box. Okay. I got two boxes full of matches. Matches? Matches. Two boxes. Underneath the house. Underneath the house. Might be flammable. Pretty flammable. And okay. Full too, like a big full box yeah. full of matches. Yeah. Wonder what the fire department would yeah. have to say. I don't know. All right, so that's it. Whoa, he owes us the $600. Yeah. He owes us the All $600. Right. Here's, this is the Tim and Jerry, Jeremy video. Okay, so it's 2.40. We've been here for what, two and a half hours about. <clears throat> Pulled all these boxes out from underneath the crawl space underneath. And then when I say crawl space, you'll see the other video. And all of it is in pretty good condition. Uh, there's... They're a little dusty. I don't see any rats. This is our video. Oh, fuck. No, that's fine. That's fine. We don't need to make any more videos. Well, this is all the stuff underneath here. Yep. That the moving company should have moved out. They moved out and didn't. That they didn't. And who did it? <clears throat> we did. Well, you and I. And it took. Jeremy Brown, uh, someone who paid the movers almost $17,000 after they scammed me and jacked up the bid after the initial estimate when they knew I already gave a deposit to my contractors and were ready to get started on construction in the next couple days. Um, then at the two hours before they're done moving, they tell us they're not taking all this stuff when it was clearly included in the estimate. <clears throat> the guy came out here, I showed him the crawl space, I told him he could go down there, I gave him a light to go down there. He peeked around, included in the estimate, and said we were all good to move all that stuff, and he didn't do it. And today is May... Today's May 8th. Right, and they yep. came May 6th and 7th. They came May 6th and 7th, correct. So here we are. Correct. And they're supposed to come back and get this. So it took us three hours? Uh, almost three hours. Which would have been nothing for six guys. 